Let's stay in Orono now and move over to Orono High School, where the Red Riot's tennis teams are looking to replicate the success of their 2023 season. Starting with the boys team, they are the defending C North champions and are in pretty good position to have a deep run again. The Riots maintain most of their top players, kids that know how to perform under pressure. One of the bigger things is that their doubles squads are veteran-led, a huge key last year and something that could be just as huge this year. Everyone has that experience of making it that far, and so it, sex, it sets that expectation of you know success. And I would say this year it's going to be a doubles again as well, just because those matches are really important. You start your matches with doubles, so having doubles go in, if, if they can both secure a win, then you need one of your singles, and sometimes taking a little bit of that pressure off and hope that everyone does their best, and they all go in trying to win their individual matches. For the girls' side, last year's nine seed in C North graduated a bunch, but have a good mix this year. The girls that were already in the program, alongside new exchange students joining the fray with tons of experience. That type of new wrinkle combined with the old could be a recipe for success. I think it's really essential. I think it's really amazing for the team. It's a good experience for us because we'll be able to come together and take pieces from what they've learned and bring it and apply it to our team. They bring a, a special focus to the program and a little different level of compete early on in the season between students moving into the area and uh, students kind of stepping up this year. I, I think that's going to make uh, some improvement for them. 